this afternoon and it's a privilege to stand and tell each and every one of you about the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came down to this world 2,000 years ago to give his life and he died on a cross for our sins and he rose again when I was growing up I had no interest in the things of God I wasn't from a Christian home I didn't know anything about the Bible my entire life was revolved around football and sports and that was what I wanted to do. But things happened and I never, never got the opportunity to play in England, which was always my dream. So my life fell apart when I was 19 years of age and I had nowhere to turn. And there were things happening in my family as well. And my life fell apart. And one night I got down on my knees and I said, God, if you're real, will you do something in my life? If you're real, will you change my life? And the Bible says in Matthew 11, verse 28, the Lord Jesus Christ is the speaker. And he says, come on to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in that room, a presence came over me that I'd never experienced in my life. And I knew that God had heard my prayers. And that same night I knew I had to go to church. And just through a friend, I heard about this church called Whitewell Metropolitan Tabernacle in Belfast. And I found directions on the internet. And I knew that Sunday night I was going to that church. And I heard a man called Pastor James McConnell preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. He talked about how he hung on a cross, how he was spat upon, how he was mocked, how there was nails put into his hands and into his feet. There was a crown of thorns put into his head. And he did all that because he loved us so much. And that same night, I put my trust in Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. And that's what you're looking at today, me and all my brothers and sisters, as new creation. We have put our trust in Jesus Christ. And I want to ask everyone that can hear my voice, have you done the same? Because the Bible says, them that are not for me are against me. And also my mom put her, her trust in Jesus Christ as well. She smoked for 30 years. The next day, just like that, she never touched another cigarette. She used to go out every Saturday night. Now, she's in church on a Sunday morning and a Sunday night. My dad was the same. He picked up a gospel track. And the gospel track said that one day when the Lord Jesus Christ returns, there will be two of the feed, there will be two of the mill, and one will be taken to heaven, and the other one will be left behind. And the same night he had an awful dream, and he knew that God was speaking to him. And again, he asked the Lord Jesus Christ into his life. And you may be listening to me, and you have money, and you have wealth, and cars, and the things of the world. But Jesus says in Mark 8 and 36, What shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Are you ashamed of Jesus Christ? Because he says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this sinful and adulterous generation of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes back with the Father and the holy angels. One day he's going to break those skies, friend. And you've got to ask yourself a question. Am I ready? If I was to die tonight, where would I go? To heaven or the other place the Bible talks about is hell. Just think about these things, friend, that I've said to you this afternoon, and may the Lord bless you. Thank you for listening.